Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another Vintage Matchbox Monday episode where we take a look at five Matchbox cars, typically five cars, uh, from, you know, maybe the late 60s all the way up to early 90s. Uh, these particular ones fall in the 80s. Uh, we're going to take a look at some Corvettes. Uh, this first one that we're looking at is the Chevrolet, Chevrolet Corvette Pacer. This variation was available from 1983 to 84. Uh, the tooling itself was number 21 in the lineup at this time, and uh, it was used from 1979 all the way up to 2001. It is in 161 scale. It's a little big. Um, this particular one is metal on metal. Metal base, painted red, metal body. It's got some suspension. Pretty nice. Uh, some basic graphics on it. It's got kind of a pearl gray um, paint, which is kind of looks pretty nice. And then uh, these pace car graphics. Pretty basic, but uh, pretty decent looking Corvette. So check that out. Decent one. And then we got this here. This is a turbo vet the same tooling it's uh from 1987 i think to 89 you could find the car with this uh livery on it uh this came out later but it still maintains its metal base made in macau still got suspension it's got these uh i think these were new matchbox wheels for like 87 somewhere in there an okay looking wheel I suppose not the best uh, but I guess it looks alright it just doesn't have any depth to it at all it looks like almost like it was just printed on the side of a flat surface so that's kind of goofy but it looks okay kind of a wacky graphic although if you're a fan of Corvettes you probably will like both of these actually all of these alright so the next one is this one here same wheels this one is the 1984 corvette um this particular version i think came out in like 88 from what i could find um again matchbox information on matchbox cars is a little tougher than hot wheels it's not as easy to figure out when stuff came out mostly because they did the same liveries over multiple years which Hot Wheels didn't do a ton of. So this one's got suspension as well. Uh, this one has a metal body. I think it's it's kind of an interesting construction. It's got like a metal top half of the body. It's got a metal bottom half of the body. And then it's got a plastic, I guess, base. This is in 156 scale, made in Macau. So plastic base, this red portion here is actually metal. And it looks like the interior makes up like the line that goes around the car, that black line. That's not painted or tampoed. I believe that is actually part of the plastic interior piece that holds the two halves of the body together. So kind of an interesting construction on this one. I think it does look pretty good, too. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I like the kind of whatever the Valvoline the sponsorship it's got uh, kind of a race car look to it and I, I dig that so that's a cool vet and then uh, next up we got this one here so as you can see the body pieces are a little malaligned on this but it's got very similar construction to the last one this is the 1987 Chevrolet Corvette. This particular uh, livery in this yellow with just the Corvette uh, and Chevy bow tie came out in 1988 and I think it was available all the way up to 1992. So quite a while. Um, it's a decent looking uh, casting though. It, it just looks like that top half of the body is a little misaligned from the bottom half. On this particular one so again the interior piece I believe stretches out into this plastic ring around the casting uh, it also has a that same similar two-part body with the plastic base down here 1987 Corvette made in Macau 156 scale so these toolings uh, between this and this one are very very similar they might even share I think looking at these the same bottom half of the car it looks like they do 
So I think they share a base in the bottom half of the car. Where they differ is the top half of the car. And uh, I think that's about it. It actually looks like the interior uh, between these two cars is actually the same piece as well. So everything I think is the same except for this top half, which is only slightly different. So interesting so there is this one and it is pretty cool in this yellow color it looks all right um, and then there's this one here same casting last car we're going to look at and again the top and bottom half of the body just don't look like they line up perfectly which now that we're looking at it on here it's probably a flaw in exactly how that top half of the body was designed maybe or it just doesn't fit quite right um Still, it's hard to tell that off camera. On camera, it's pretty obvious, but off, I didn't even notice it until I started doing this video. So, but there it is. And then uh, this one in particular, this one with flames here, this red one, was a, I believe, a Kellogg's promotional. I don't know exactly when it came out, but I think this was a cereal box car or one that you could mail in for. So, I don't, I'm not super clear on that, but I think it was. I don't know if this was ever available in just a straight. Uh, blister pack on the shelves of stores, but this one's made in Thailand. 156 scale, 87 Corvette. It's a nice one. The flames aren't really super detailed, but they still look pretty decent on this red Corvette. So, and I like these wheels. I, I actually do like these Matchbox wheels here, the little dots. I think those are kind of cool. So, both of these are all right. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. We looked at five Corvettes, mainly across three different toolings. So, if you're not a fan of Corvette, probably not a super exciting video. But if you like the Matchbox Monday videos, please check out my other ones. They are in a playlist and are available to watch, I guess, in sequence from when I started till now. Uh, there's quite a few of them out there already. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a good day.